Hello learners, I welcome you to this audiovisual program on the topic note making which is included in the course foundation course in English BA first semester. This is the first part of the video on this topic. In this video we are going to deal with one of the most important forms of study skill that is note making. You must have come across pressy writing substance writing or summarizing. All these are forms of information transfer skill. Similarly, note making requires us to transfer the information to another form. Before moving into details, let us quickly look into the objectives of this video. The main objectives of this video are to give you an idea on note making to lay down the difference between note making and note taking, to acquaint you with the reading processes of scheming and scanning. What is note making? Note making means listing out in brief the most important facts and ideas and arguments contained in a piece of written text. It is a means of recording information from the written or printed material that we are reading. The written or printed material that we are reading may be a book, an essay or an article, a piece of fiction or even a poem. Note taking. Note taking on the other hand means noting down the most important facts, ideas and arguments given by a speaker. For instance, you must have noticed in public meetings or conferences, people sitting quietly in press galleries noting down the main points, facts, ideas and arguments made by the speakers in the meeting or conference. These persons in the press galleries are actually taking down notes. They will use these notes to write their reports on the meeting for the paper or agency that they represent. Few points to remember. Note taking requires the use of the skill of listening, whereas note making requires the use of the skill of reading. Note taking means taking down notes that we listen, while note making means taking down notes that we read. Now that you are aware of the differences between note making and note taking, let us look at some of the strategies that are important to remember while making notes on a piece of text that we have read. Since note making requires one's reading skills, we must emphasize on certain forms of reading activities like skimming or scanning. Let us first briefly deal with the form of reading known as skimming. The term skimming refers to a reading activity that involves reading a text quickly by running one's eyes over the text to get a gist of the text. So, what will be your immediate task when you read a paragraph or when you skim through a paragraph? You are certain to find difficult words and sentences in the passage. Your task will be to identify the topic sentences of the text. Every paragraph has a topic sentence which usually contains one central idea and enough particulars to put the idea across. By scheming, we get the following information. What does the passage deal with? How does the writer develop the theme? You might be wondering why this activity has been given the first priority. Until recently, materials have concentrated on the units smaller than the sentence. It was assumed that a text was a succession of separate sentences thematically related and that it would be necessary to proceed from words to phrases, from phrases to clauses, from clauses to sentences, from sentences to paragraphs to understand a paragraph. But if reading is to be efficient, the structure of longer units such as the paragraph on the whole text must be understood. 
Efficient reading involves starting with global understanding and moving towards detailed understanding rather than working the other way around. Reading is a constant process of guessing and what one brings to the text is often more important than what one finds in it. Let us look at the following extract from Mortimer J. Adler's How to Mark a Book. There are three kinds of book owner. The first has all the standard sets and bestsellers, unread, untouched. This deluded individual owns wood pulp and ink, not books. The second has a great many books, a few of them read through, most of them dipped into, but all of them as clean and shiny as the day they were bought. This person would probably like to make books his own, but is restrained by a false respect for their physical appearance. The third has a few books or many, every one of them dog-eared and dilapidated, shaken and loosened by continual use, marked and scribbled in from front to back. So this man owns books. So now the question is, which is the topic sentence of the passage? The topic sentence of this passage is, there are three kinds of book owners. As we are now familiar with the reading style of skimming, the next important reading activity that need to be considered while writing notes is scanning. In scanning, the readers are required to move on to explore the way by which the central controlling idea is developed. For this, the cohesive devices used in the passage will help you to explore. Cohesive devices are linkers that find a piece of text together. Just as one word in a sentence leads to another, one sentence in the text ought naturally to lead to another. The cohesive devices as linkers help in the process of linking up the sentences to bind them together to form a unified piece of text. This cohesive devices can be covered or overt. Covered cohesive devices are usually reference features. For example, a pronoun in a subsequent sentence may refer back to the concerned noun in the preceding sentence and thereby establish connectivity between the sentences. Overt cohesive devices are usually the following. Additives, for example, and, or, furthermore, similarly, firstly, secondly, etc. Number two, adversatives like, but, however, on the other hand, etc. Thirdly, causal, for example, so, consequently, for this reason, etc. And fourthly, temporal, for example, then, after that, an hour later, finally, at last, etc. Let us once again look at this paragraph and try to find out the main points that are contained in the central controlling ideas. There are three kinds of book owners. The first has all the standard sets and bestsellers, unread, untouched. This deluded individual owns wood pulp and ink, not books. The second has a great many books, a few of them read through, most of them dipped into, but all of them as clean and shiny as the day they were bought. This person would probably like to make books his own, but is restrained by a false respect for their physical appearance. The third has a few books or many, every one of them dog-eared and dilapidated, shaken and loosened by continual use, marked and scribbled in from front to back, and this man owns books. When you scan the passage for specific details, you will perhaps be able to form a mental image on the paragraph which would appear as follows. Kinds of book owners, partly reader, whereas here we will see non-readers and reader. So with this virtual image, it will be possible for you to make the following notes on the passage. 
which we have put across as Roman 1. Three kinds of book owners. Then we will use numbers 1, 2, 3, etc. Number 1 has all the standard sets and bestsellers. Number 2 has great many books, a few of them read. And number 3 has a few books or many. Each one of them bears signs of being thoroughly read. So, note how the number is done. The major point or division is given in large Roman numbers, Roman 1, Roman 2, etc. The main points are given as number 1, number 2, number 3, and so on. Subpoints can be given as small a, b, c. To break up subpoints still further, we can use 1, 2, 3 in small fronts. If major themes are to be identified in a passage between Roman 1 and number 1, we can use capital letter indicators A, B, C, etc. Let us look once again at the main points we have discussed. Note making means listing out in brief the most important facts and ideas and arguments contained in a piece of written text. Note taking, on the other hand, means noting down the most important facts, ideas and arguments given by a speaker. Note making requires one's reading skills. Hence, certain forms of reading activities like skimming or scanning are to be considered. The term skimming refers to a reading activity that involves reading a text quickly by running one's eyes over the text to get a gist of the text, while in scanning, the readers are required to move on to explore the way by which the central controlling idea is developed. With this, we have come to the end of this video. In the next part, we shall discuss the format of note making in details. Thank you.